Hello and welcome to my vlog So Amelia where I talk about making a handmade wardrobe for me and my children. Today's video is all about the things that I have planned to sew in September. So in England at least the summer has been a little bit wet and grey and so I've kind of lost my sojo in terms of sewing summer things and instead my mind has turned slightly to more autumnal makes and I just thought I'd show you the little pile of fabrics that I'm going to be talking about today because they just make such a lovely colour story together. So here they are. Um, these are the fabrics that I'll talk about today. Some of them are new purchases and some of them are things I've had in my stash for quite a long time and I'm really looking forward to getting them sewn up this month. So the first thing I'll talk about is what I'm wearing. Today I'm wearing the paper cut Solar Tea. It used to be called the Kyoto Tea, but it is now called the Solar Tea. Uh, and this is a lovely relaxed fit t-shirt. It also comes as a sweater and you can either add or leave off this sleeve ruffle on the drop sleeve. So when I first made this, I wasn't sure about it on me in terms of the boxy fit, but actually I have really enjoyed wearing it when we have had warmer days and it's just lovely and relaxed for a day at home or just pottering about in the park. So the pattern that I bought comes in a size 1 to 8, which is a UK 6 to 20. A uh, size 6 is a bust of 29.9, a waist of 22 and hips of 32.3 and a size 8 or a size 20 is a bust of 46.5 inches, a waist of 38.6 inches and hips of 48.8 inches. But paper cut patterns have recently extended their size range and they now also have the Solar T in a curve range and that goes from size UK size 16 to 34 so it's great to see that they have extended the sizing on this one as it is a really really nice relaxed t-shirt to be able to wear in the summer. I made mine from a pink bamboo jersey that I bought from Sew Me Sunshine and it's just so soft and lovely to wear um, it is one of my favorite t-shirts in my wardrobe. I should just say in paper cut patterns sizes on their size chart I am a size 4 to 5, 4 across the chest and then a 5 for the waist and hips but because this is quite a generous fit I sized down to a size 3 and even then it's quite generous so I probably will size down to a size 2 when I make this next time. So the first pattern I'm going to talk about today is the spring jumpsuit. This is a pattern by Sew so Love Patterns and it's made for woven fabrics. Now I'm going to make mine from a chambray that I got from Minerva quite a while ago now. I will link it in the description box if it is still available. So here it is here. The pattern recommends soft drapey woven fabrics. Now this chambray is quite light in terms of its weight uh, and it's got quite a good drape so I think it will be fine as the spring jumpsuit and I really would like to use it and get it out of my stash and into a garment. So the spring jumpsuit is a lovely lovely pattern. It has wide leg trousers and then it has a v-neck with bust gathers into a curved waistband. Now I really like curved waistbands, I really like wide leg trousers so I'm thinking this one is going to be a good one for me. I also am really enjoying trousers and jumpsuits because I take the children to school on a bike and so it's quite good to be able to have a few jumpsuits in my collection. There are three versions, there is the long trouser version, there is the cropped trouser version and then there is the play suit or shorts version. What I'm going to make this time is the cropped trouser version, I think that will be a really good make for the autumn. Um, I prefer that length over the long trousers and I don't think I'm going to make the shorts version now, although I may make that one next summer. This one does come with cap sleeves, this particular pattern. There is also an extension that you can buy with bishop sleeves, I believe, but I'm happy with the cap sleeve. I think especially going into the autumn, I prefer a cap sleeve because I get quite warm cycling, but I can throw a jersey on over the top if I need to. Now this pattern comes in sizes A to H. Now A is a bust of 31.5 inches, a waist of 24 inches, and hips of 33.5 inches. Size H is a bust of 45.5 inches, a waist of 38 inches, and hips of 47.5 inches. So unfortunately it's not the most size inclusive pattern. So using the size chart, I'm a size C bust, a size D waist, and a size E hip. 
but there is enough ease in the finished garment measurements to make a size C bodice graded to a size D at the waist and the hips. So that's what I'll do I think for this version and hopefully that will fit just nicely and be a great piece for my autumn wardrobe. So when we were on our recent holiday up in Gloucestershire I realised that we weren't actually very far from Like So Amazing, the lovely fabric shop in Bristol. So I suggested to my husband that on the drive home we might pop in and, <laughs> and visit. And so we did and it was so lovely to chat with Sarah and to see some fabrics um, and touch them and look at them all. It was just such a treat after so many months of online shopping. And the next couple of fabrics are ones that I picked up from Like So Amazing when I visited last month. And the first one is this beautiful cotton fabric. I'll pop links again in the description box to them in her shop if they're still available. So it's this one here and it's a cotton and I picked it up because I just love those colours. I think they're so autumnal and what I want to make is the Nina Lee London Bakerloo dress. Now I'm sure you will have all have heard of this pattern by now. It's a beautiful smock dress with a statement collar and voluminous sleeves. Now I've made two versions of this. I made one with the three quarter length sleeves and I made one with the full sleeves for the winter. And I think this time I'd like to make the three quarter length sleeves. I found that a really good transitional piece last year when I made it. And so I think I'll do that again with those three quarter length sleeves and I will be making the dress version. This does come as a top as well and as a dress. Now this comes in two size bands because Nina Lee has recently extended her size range, which is great. So the size is six to 20 and 16 to 28. So size six is a bust of 32 a waist of 24 and hips of 35.5 inches and the size 28 is a bust of 54 inches, a waist of 47 inches and hips of 57 inches. So that's great to see a real range of sizing there now. Now in Nina Lee patterns I am a size 10 bust, a size 12 waist and a size 14 hip. However, I have made this dress twice before in the size 10 and it fitted beautifully. It really is fitted around the bust and then there's plenty of ease in the waist and the hips in terms of the finished measurements. I think the collar is perhaps the trickiest bit with the ruffle and I haven't decided if I'm going to do the ruffle with the same fabric or whether I might use one of the laces from my collection. Uh, so you'll have to come back for my September makes to find out what I decide to do with that one. But it's such a satisfying make and again it's a lovely transitional piece for my wardrobe to take me from summer into winter. So the next fabric I saw at Like So Amazing is quite a summery one really but I could not resist it and I think it will be great as we near the end of the summer and go into the autumn and of course I can wear it again next year and it is this gorgeous cotton with these swimmers all over it. Again I just love the colours of this, I think it will transition really nicely into the autumn in terms of the colours and I just love those swimmers on the fabric, I think they're so cute. So what I would like to do with this is I would like to make the Closet Core Fiore skirt. Now this is a high-waisted A-line skirt which is a shape I really like. So there are three views for this skirt. View A is just a simple flared A-line skirt. View B is a really interesting asymmetric skirt with one pocket over the hip. And view C is a skirt with a button placket and two curved patch pockets. Now I really like view B and C. But I think with this fabric I would like to have the line of the fabric as unbroken as possible and you know that I really enjoy asymmetric lines on my clothing so I will be having a go at view B. Now again Closet Core have been extending their size range and this skirt comes in a size 0 to 20 and also a size 14 to 32. So the size 0 is a bust of 31 inches, waist of 24 inches and hips of 33 inches and a size 32 is a bust of 60 inches a waist of 53 inches and hips of 63 inches. So I'm a size 10 to 12 in the waist and a size 14 hip. Now I looked at the finished measurements and the finished measurements for the size 10 look perfect. They still give me plenty of ease in the hips by it still being nice and fitted around my natural waist. So I'm going to make a size 10. So I'm really looking forward to trying that pattern. It looks quite straightforward and that might be the one that I start with this month to try and get as much wear out of that while it is still warm outside. Now this next make is one that I put on my Make 9. So I'm really looking forward to getting this sewn up this autumn and getting another make ticked off my list. And it is the Jennifer Lauren Handmade Juniper Cardigan. Now what I would like to make that in is this True Knit fabric from Minerva. And again, I've had this in my stash for a little while. <laughs> 
and I did buy it at the end of last winter when I saw it but didn't get it made up in time for the spring. So now is its moment. It's called a Victoria sweater knit. I'm not sure why but that's what it's called. It's linked in the description box below and I really like this bright red colour. I think it will go with quite a lot in my wardrobe and that's always what I aim for as I want the pieces that I make to really work together cohesively in my wardrobe so I can wear them all. Uh, together. So the Juniper cardigan is a saddled shoulder v-neck cardigan and it comes either as a long boyfriend style cardigan or as a cropped sweater. Now I prefer the look of the cropped sweater and it will go quite well I think with a lot of my higher waisted skirts and the jumpsuit even that I'm making. For this one you can make long sleeves or you can make three quarter length sleeves. Now I will make the long sleeved version just because I would like this sweater to take me from the autumn through into the winter. So Jennifer Lauren Handmade does have a curve range of her clothing but this sweater unfortunately doesn't come in the curve sizes yet so it still is in sizes 6 to 24. And a size 6 is a bust of 31 inches, waist of 24 inches and hips of 35 inches. And the size 24 is a bust of 49 inches, waist of 42 inches and hips of 53 inches. So I fit into size 10 to 12 for the bust and size 12 for the waist and size 12 to 14 for the hips. Now because I'm making this in the cropped version I'm not too worried about the hip measurements obviously and so looking at the finished garment measurements I think a size 12 will be great. It will fit nicely across the bust with just a little bit of room and then it will be fitted at the waist which I think is just about right. I don't like it to be too tight across the bust especially if I choose to button it up. Sewing with knit is always a bit of an adventure but I'm looking forward to getting stuck into that one as I think it will go with so many things in my wardrobe. Now the next dress is one for my daughter and it's the Peony Patterns Wattle Dress. Now this is one I've made before and I absolutely love it. It's a very very nice one to make, it's quick and satisfying but it also is finished beautifully. So it's a little dress with, with either cap sleeves, three quarter length sleeves or full length sleeves and it has a circle skirt so it's perfect for twirling. It also has a fully lined bodice which is really nice and a scoop boat neckline. And it just looks lovely when my little girl wears it and it's one of the staple dresses in her wardrobe. So I am going to be making her another one for the autumn and I think I'll make the elbow length sleeves and obviously the circle skirt. And I'm going to use this fabric here by Amy Elizabeth Fabrics. And it's called her Rustic Rainbows. It's so pretty. It's an Ecotex jersey and I've worked with her jerseys before. They are so lovely and soft to work with and to wear. They wash really, really well. Um, and they're just a pleasure for, her, for me to work with and for her to wear. So I really can recommend those. She's got lots of beautiful designs on her website, including some Christmas prints that are coming out, so it's well worth taking a look at that. And I'll link it in the box below. So the wattle pattern is great. It was one of the first things I made when I was starting my journey with knit fabrics, and I found the instructions to be so helpful. They really hold your hand and guide you through each step of the process. And they use really clear photographs with their instructions which is so helpful because it's very clear to see what you should be doing at each point in the process. What I also like about this pattern is it comes in sizes 1 to 14 which I think is such a good size range and I will get lots of use out of this pattern I'm sure as she grows. So I did find that because this is a knit project it does come up a little on the smaller side so I will be making her a size 3. And what I did with my last wattle dress that I made was that I made it with long sleeves and then when it got into the spring summer I just chopped the sleeves off and made them um, short sleeves which worked really well and she's had another season of wear out of that dress. However it is now getting a little on the short side but I will make this one with either three quarter sleeves or full sleeves and then when it comes to springtime I can chop those off and they will become short sleeves and she'll get another season out of this dress. Now that's quite a few projects to be getting on with and I may or may not get through them all this month. We'll just see. My little boy is starting a new school this year which is very exciting but there'll be a bit of a settling in period there I'm sure. So we'll just have to wait and see how much time I have to get all of those things sewn up. But my last project is something I'm really excited about. Um, I do enjoy knitting but in the summer months I just find I can't pick up my, my knitting needles and knit wool, it's too warm. As the nights draw in and it's getting darker in the evenings I'm finding myself more willing to pick up the knitting needles and get something made up in time for the winter. So I've decided to knit the We Are Knitters Bombshell Bomber which is a cropped 
cardigan with balloon sleeves and little sort of daisy details on the bottom of the sleeve and the bottom of the cardigan. I've chosen to knit it up in this gorgeous forest green colour which again I think will go with lots of different things in my wardrobe. I've had a quick flick through the instructions and they look great so I'm looking forward to sitting down with that and getting started. We're actually going away on a family holiday for the end of the summer and I am going to take that with me. I like to take something to do in the evenings once the children are in bed so that will be a perfect project to take away on our family holiday. So thank you so much for watching again today. I hope you enjoyed those plans. Um, let me know which one you're looking forward to seeing sewn up or if you've made any of those patterns before do leave me any hints and tips below. It's always great to hear from others who have sewn up the same patterns and have found different things that worked and that didn't. So do leave any comments below. Meanwhile I hope you're enjoying the end of your summer and that your autumnal sewing plans are coming along well too. It's always nice to sew for a different season. Although I do wish I'd had a bit more wear out of my summer makes. <laughs> so until the next one I hope you stay safe, stay happy and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye bye!